Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 11, Joshua 5 through to Judges chapter 2, From Circumcision to Rebellion. In Joshua 5, why did the other nations fear Israel but not convert? Are there medical benefits to circumcision? What does circumcision picture spiritually? Who was the man with the sword? In Joshua 6, how many times did they march around Jericho each day? What happened to the city? What were the devoted things? What happened to Rahab and her family? In Joshua 7, what happened to Ai? What was Achan's sin? How serious does God take stealing from the church treasury? Do we have a similar New Testament story? In Joshua 8, what military strategy did Israel employ? What happened on Mount Ebal? In Joshua 9, what was the Gibeonite deception? What was the Israelites' mistake? What was the Gibeonites' curse? In Joshua 10, how did Joshua defeat five Amorite kings? What did God do? What's the difference between Israel conquering and Europeans conquering the New World? Does God's direct command have anything to do with it? In Joshua 11, what did God say about the northern kings and their large army? Of all the tribes in the land, who was the only one that made a treaty with Israel? In Joshua 12, which two and a half tribes settled east of the Jordan? How many kings in all were conquered west of the Jordan? In Joshua 13, what land was still to be taken? Is some of it still unconquered today? In Joshua 14, how many tribes had inheritance west of the Jordan? Was this society more equal than ours? How? What was Caleb's inheritance? Why? In Joshua 15, to whom did Caleb promise his daughter Aksa? Can you find any of the cities mentioned on a map on the internet? Who were the Jebusites? What happened to them? In Joshua 16, who were the people of Gezer? What were they forced to do? In Joshua 17, who was Zelophehad? How many daughters did he have? What decision had been rendered in his case? What did the Manassites fail to do? What was their solution? What did Ephraim complain about? What was Joshua's decision? In Joshua 18, how did Joshua distribute the remaining land? How did the first lot come up? Where was Benjamin's territory? In Joshua 19, where was Simeon's territory? What town did Joshua inherit? In Joshua 20, what was a city of refuge for? What was the responsibility of the elders of that city? When could a defendant return home? In Joshua 21, were the towns for the priests in one clan or scattered throughout? In Joshua 22, what blessing did he give the two and a half tribes as they returned home? What was the controversy over an altar? How was it resolved? In Joshua 23, what was his farewell? What was his warning? What was his promise? In Joshua 24, what happened at Shechem? What did Joshua tell the Israelites to choose? How old was he when he died? Where was he buried? The tomb is a tourist site in the hills of Ephraim, north of Jerusalem. Congratulations, you've finished Joshua. In Judges 1, from which tribe were fighting men chosen? What deal did Aksa make with her father Caleb? What deal did the tribe of Joseph make in Bethel? What did Manasseh, Ephraim, Zebulun, Asher, and Naphtali fail to do? In Judges 2, what was the angel's message at Bochim? What grave sins did Israel commit? What did God do? Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, God bless you.